Statistically, every third person in this room will be diagnosed with some type of cancer during their lifetime. Effective treatment options such as chemotherapy exist, but are refused by many, often out of fear of side effects like vomiting, hair loss, and infertility. The side effects occur because traditional treatments, especially chemo, attack every part of our bodies, both healthy and cancer. In recent years, scientists have tried making cancer drugs smarter to stop them from attacking healthy cells and only go after cancer cells. One idea is using nanoparticles. Think of them as tiny delivery drones that you're handing the address of the cancer and they're carrying the drugs straight to it, avoiding healthy cells. Sounds great, but here's the catch. These drones have limited cargo space and often you need much more medicine than they can carry. But as a chemist, I don't need to carry the drug to the cancer. What if I create the drug inside of the cancer? I use the nanoparticles not to carry the drug, but to carry a special molecule called a catalyst that triggers chemical reactions. The catalyst activates the drug right at the cancer site. Think of it like a tiny robot with a nanoparticle as the robot body and the catalyst as its tool to activate the drug. We call this robot a nanozyme. Here's how it works. When a person is diagnosed with cancer, we first inject the nanozyme to find the cancer and stick to it. Meanwhile, I deactivate the drug in the lab by wrapping it in a package that only the nanozyme can open. In the second step, we inject the inactive drug that spreads everywhere in the body and is completely harmless. But when the packaged drug meets the nanozyme that is stuck to the cancer, the nanozyme unwraps the package, unleashing the drug's full power precisely and only at the cancer site. In my research, I played with all possible characteristics of the nanoparticle, the robot body, and the catalyst, the tool, to make my nanozymes more efficient. I created nanozymes using different nanomaterials and injected them into mice that had breast cancer. And while we're nowhere near application in humans yet, I've seen equal cancer killing efficacy with my nanozyme approach compared to the standard drug treatment. However, with significantly and visibly fewer side effects. While I unfortunately can't prevent people from getting cancer, my nanozymes are working toward a future where cancer treatments are smarter, safer, and gentler, eliminating cancer without the harmful side effects. Thank you.